so I have a happy mail here to share with you guys. Now on the packaging, it just has the last name. And I usually don't like giving out last names. So hopefully there's a card in here. But So I was kind of looking through the bag. And then I started seeing like a pig plate and a penguin. And I'm like, okay, I got to stop because I'm getting like really excited about what I see. And I like doing that on video with you guys. So I'm hoping that I can find the card in here as I go along. So... Uh, like I said, right off the bat, I saw these cute little pig plates. I don't know where they are from, but they are absolutely adorable. Oh, I cannot wait to go show those uh, to Sunny. Oh my gosh, look, there is little Disney in here. I'm going to use my plate. So we have a Snow White and Woody and Nemo. I saw somebody put these in to ornaments that open and make little Christmas ornaments. I thought that was so, so cute. Oh, look, we have like a little milkshake. Super cute. I can actually probably put a head pin in here and make it into a little charm. Oh, uh, are these for paper clips? Oh, I don't think I have one on hand right here. I think this is um for the paper clip, right? You put no, wait, what is this for? I was going to say, I thought you tuck it in here, but there is actually, like, two little holes back there. Okay, I don't know what this is for. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, maybe. Maybe it is for the paper clip, because there's holes down here. I don't know, but I'm going to use them as charms. I think they're really cute. We got a little Mickey and a Minnie over here. Anybody know what these are? Let me know down below in the comments. They're really cute. I think they're for paper clips, but I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, you know what I just thought of? I'm going to put these in my plants. Sunny Boy and I have been doing like little terrarium type things. So I'm going to stick those in there. So I'm going to go show him and let him pick which one he wants in which container. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? Oh my gosh, it's a precious moment stamp. And it's actually embossed in gold. Oh Oh, I think I found my letter. Okay, I was going to see. I'm like, yeah, I think this was um, handmade, but I can see writing, so let's see. Okay, so this comes from Delaney, and uh, she said that she's been putting this together since May. Thank you so much for thinking about me for so, so many months. I super appreciate it. And um, she just sent me a little condolence. My aunt passed away in June. She was 90. I was extremely close with her. I would take her to her doctor's visits. I would see her multiple times a week. Um, yeah, she was just like what a grandmother figure should be. Just like unconditional love and always there for you. And she definitely was. So I have two aunts like that. One of them passed. I still have the other one who is 87. Uh, they live together. So my aunt who's 87 is kind of now struggling with living on her own and not knowing how to keep herself busy. So I go visit her and I call her multiple times a day on top of taking care of both of my parents who are in the best health. I have Sonny, who's my son, who's autistic, who also needs help. And yeah, it's just a lot going on over here. So uh, when you guys can like relate or just send me prayers, like you guys have no idea how much it truly, truly means to me. It means so much, and I appreciate all of you guys so, so much. Just your guys' comments of, you know, you're thinking about me and praying for me and my family. I can't express how much that means to me. Just knowing that somebody else out there is just thinking about you, it's just absolutely incredible. And I just cannot thank you guys so, so much. Um, I always get all sad when I think about my aunt. I miss her so much. Um... So, we have blue flowers right here. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that my birthday, Mother's Day, any kind of special occasion, Sunny Boy always gets me blue flowers. Even from before when um, he wasn't talking when he was younger, he would always pick out blue flowers. So, blue flowers are very, very special to me. Oh, these are so cute. They're little Hallmark puffy stickers here. I'm like, what year are these from? Look, they were only $2 and they were Hallmark. I'm like, these have to be um, older ones because I haven't seen these around. Oh, look at this card. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's like um, laser cut through. 
Wow, that's just gorgeous. Oh, I love this. I wish everything had like a year on it. That would be so amazing. Oh, look at this. How cute. Oh, it's like a little pop-up card. So it's kind of like a little 3D card. That is super, super cute. Love that. Oh, look, these are perfect for right now with it being fall. Uh, today's the first day of fall. Today's, yeah, the 21st, right? So, uh, you guys will probably be seeing this the day after, but for me, it's the first day of fall. And these come from Hobby Lobby. If you guys get these, save the case. They make great shadow boxes. And I also use them to put my little pieces in for when I die cut. So I always tell you guys, like, um, perfect examples, like when I make a gnome, you know, you have the feet, the hands, the nose, the hat, the beard, the body. It's just so easy to die cut a bunch and just put all the little pieces here and then just sit down and glue them all together at one time. I love these little trays. I have a ton that I use all the time. Let's see. <laughs> a little McDonald's box. You know what's so funny? I save these all the time too, me and Sunny. And these were my favorite. We have like a little stash. So Sunny used one to like put pens in. He used another one to like put his paper pads in. Oh my gosh, this is from the 50th anniversary one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I don't think we have any um, out around the house. This one we do, but not this one. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous paper right here. So, so pretty. Where is this from? I'm not sure where it's from. But it's an ivory really like swirly and pretty oh this one's probably that one. Ooh, look how these feel got a couple more pieces here oh these are so pretty oh look at this gold paper over here oh gorgeous i don't know if you can tell on camera but these are all like pearl shiny paper really really pretty Oh, look at that pearly one. That would be really nice to use for, like, some Halloween crafting. Oh, these are so, so pretty. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sunny is going to lose his little mind. Look, it is a little piggy with wings. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, I always tell you guys that anything that's a pig with wings, I always, always, always buy it for Sunny. Um, he's been obsessed with pigs since he was very, very, very little. Like He used to have this little Wilbur, which he has upstairs in his room. Uh, it was like a little beanie baby guy that he carried everywhere with him his entire school up until high school. And at high school, he took it with him for a little bit, and then he decided that he was a big boy and didn't need it anymore, but it lives in his room. So, yeah, from, like, preschool all the way through high school, he took his little beanie baby around. He's always been obsessed with pigs, and his middle name is Angel. So, anytime we find pigs with wings, I always buy it. I've never seen this little guy before. This is just absolutely amazing. Oh, my gosh, how fun i cannot wait to show him that little piggy and for him to add it to his shelf because i know he'll be so so excited oh my gosh there is a huge huge bag here oh these flowers are so pretty these little mums from hobby lobby i don't even know if these are out this year i haven't gone to go look um i haven't really gone through the fall section because it's only 40 percent off and christmas is 50 so I've been like hanging out over in the Christmas. So I definitely need to go back and check that out. We have some little bands that you can use for making bracelets. Got little piggies from Michaels. Love that. I need to make him another junk journal. And I bought pieces for it, but I haven't put it together yet. So I definitely need to do that. 
my gosh, like I'm a planner girl, so I love any Happy Planner stickers. Got some cool little bow bunny buttons. Some more bow bunny buttons. Ooh, what's this? Is this an ornament or? Oh my gosh, it's an ornament. <gasps> oh my gosh. How cool is this? I have never even seen this one before. So I live in California, so I always see like Disneyland stuff, not really like Disney World stuff. So this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is definitely going up on our Christmas tree for sure. Look at these little blings. Oh, I love like vintage. Got some little bows right here. I don't know where these are from, but they're really, really cute. Ooh, look at this little dude. Okay, I love this. So she put a little note that she didn't make it, but a friend did. And then here is her friend's info. So you can go ahead and go check her out on Instagram, email her, or head over to her website. Look at this. Oh, this is very cool made out of resin. Um, I'll definitely remember to link her down below. So that way you guys can go check her out. And we got some Valentine's Day card. Oh my God, there's just a ton of stuff in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this like a vent? Oh my gosh, it is a Bambi. Let me make room. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this Disney book. 29 cents. Oh my gosh, this is going like up on a shelf somewhere. This is so cool. I've never seen a Disney book where they cut it out to like the shape of the character. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, look at a stamp for 17 cents. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. We got Lady and the Tramp, Lady and the Tramp live action. Oh, Fox and the Hound. Sunny Boy and I love watching Fox and the Hound. Oh my gosh, this is all from one bag, you guys. We have some glitter samples here. Got some more like paper sheets. Oh my gosh, just a ton of stuff. Like look at the strip from the box. That's so funny, I saved that too. I have a couple of those in my stash that I swore I was gonna do like a Disney junk journal with. Oh my gosh, guys, there's still more stuff in here. So we got paper. Ooh, look. It's funny, I just did hot cocoa yesterday. We actually had like a cool night here in San Diego because we had been having like a nasty heat wave for so long. It finally cooled off. So I actually made us hot cocoa yesterday. Oh my gosh. I've never saw this calendar before. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Okay, I thought I saw this on the back there. So, Sunny Boy, actually, his favorite uh, Disney character is Peter Pan. And on our very first Disney cruise we took was for Sunny Boy's 10th birthday. And we bought him the painting that they sell in their gallery there. And it looks very, very similar to this. So... This is so amazing. I will definitely be using these for scrapbooking. Look at how beautiful. My mom's favorite character is Beauty and the Beast. So, oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is like artwork right here. Just stunning. We have some little like metal words that came from Michaels that I've never even seen before. I have no idea what year these are from because I definitely have not seen those before. <gasps> oh my gosh, is there a Disney calendar that I am not aware of? Look, it's like a desk calendar, but of Disney. Like, how did I not know that this was a thing? Okay, I am running to Google right after this to see if I can get one for either this year or next year. I would love to put this up right here on my little crafty desk and then use these. That's amazing. Oh, look, there is Jasmine and Belle in here. Oh, look, and they got like little Tweety Birds with them. 
Super cute. I wonder if these are ornaments or if they were made into ornaments. But that's cute. I will definitely be putting a string through here and putting these up on my Christmas tree. Here is that little penguin dude that I had initially seen when I was looking for the card that I told you guys about. Isn't he adorable? He is just so cool. So I can actually put an eye screw back in here and just glue it down and then make him back into a little ornament to put up on my tree. That's going to be so, so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. I was actually missing Mickey from when these came out. I don't remember if I had said that or not that I was missing Mickey. He was so, so hard to find. So, oh my gosh. This like totally makes my day. Because I could go ahead and go put him on our little shelf. I got a ton of Chippendale back when these were out at McDonald's. Tons and tons of Chippendale in the special anniversary outfit. But Mickey was like mission impossible to find. I like how McDonald's is doing it better now where they're kind of like blind bags. So that way like the employees can't go picking through and getting all the harder to find ones. So Oh my gosh, this was just a simply amazing happy mail. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go in and show everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you guys for being so amazing and always just thinking about me and sending me like happy mail. Like you guys have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Just you guys commenting and messaging me and emailing means the world to me. You have no idea how good it is to connect with you guys and just feeling the love and support for you guys is just so amazing. And I just want to thank you guys. You guys are great. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we'll see you later. Bye guys.